Hi guys, we are the ECB team, and today we're going to predict semi-final one qualifiers. Let's get started. Let's get started. Get started. Open up Rotterdam to the place in your heart where your own vision will start. So, semi-final one of Eurovision 2021 will be held on the 18th of May, and this video will be dedicated to our predictions. Who will qualify, who won't qualify, we share our agreements. Uh, each one of us will protect his qualifiers again as prediction, not taste, and we'll be able, we'll be happy to see your comments as well, guys. So let's start with the countries we all are gear about on semi-final one. Actually, there are eight of them, which is not that uh, few. So I'm I'm happy about that. Let's just uh, mention them. The first one we all agree about was Lithuania, uh, again in random order, of course, Malta, Russia. Sweden, Cyprus, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, and Romania. Those are eight countries we all agree about. Uh, let's quickly review them. So Lithuania, I think there is no surprise you, right? Uh, the group has tons of charisma with that um, yellow outfit, disco song. There is the dreamy uh, dancing. Yeah, the finger movement. So yeah, and it's open to show, of course. So I think it's, a, it's an advantage here. Uh, the second one, again, random order, is Malta. Yeah, one of the contenders to win the whole Eurovision, right? Uh, powerful song. Excellent running order. I mean, the last song to, to close the semifinal. And Destiny is a good vocalist, so no surprises here. The third one is Russia. Yes, dear, what do you think Russia will qualify? I think Manisha brings something really, really different to the stage. Um, very authentic. You know the nice rhythm. We saw her performance in the in the national final. She had charisma in 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 bulks. It's amazing. I'm really looking forward to see her. I have no doubt she will qualify. Yeah, I must say that the song is divisive, but there is no doubt it will qualify because yeah. First of all, Russia has strong um, televoting base. Let's call it. It's not a shame. It's something to be proud of. Uh, second of all, the song is unique. There is a strong message behind it, especially when it comes from Russia. And yeah, I mean, personally, I don't like the song, but again, it's a matter of taste, no prediction. But I do agree it can easily sneak to the top 10 of the, that evening. Uh, another surgery qualifier was Sweden. Yes, Karens, you want to explain to us why you do think that Sweden is certain or actually will qualify? <laughs> It's Sweden. That's the only reason it's gonna qualify. No matter what this uh, song they will send, they will qualify. In recent years, uh, can we yeah. can we cut it to a meme afterwards? By the way, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I must say I'm almost to be. I mean, the song isn't bad at all, but I think that Sweden tend to send stronger songs to Eurovision. I mean, in the last years, um. Yeah, there's the refugee things, which is a strong message, the thing one, and two sad story. Uh, story. Um, but yeah, I think the song, I mean, yeah, the title of Sweden here will definitely help. And, and if you ask me, it will qualify for sure, but I'm not sure it will, let's say, lead the score to the semifinal. Opinions? I agree with you. I think Sweden, that's the first from many years that we have a weak entry from Sweden, not the best one. Uh, believe, but yeah, again, I, as you I said, believe it's really no doubt they will qualify. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I believe 2018, 2017 was a weak one. Those kind of pop songs really? was not for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I believe so as well. Not for me, it's too, but I saw, let's say, uh, more fans of that songs according, uh, comparing sorry, to that one. So I don't know. But you know, let's not forget uh, Anna Bergendahl was an excellent one, I guess, but. Not, didn't qualify. So my message here is, yeah, there are strong uh, countries with, I don't know, let's say superb uh, record in the Eurovision history, but almost everyone can fall here. So yeah, but still we have agreed on that. Uh, next one we all agree about was Cyprus. Yes, Karin, do you want to protect Cyprus? Uh, Cyprus is one of those countries recently they are successful and which are great. I would think for one reason, Tenga 2020 was um, cancelled because we will witness um, a flop from uh, Cyprus, but yeah. Uh, you win 2020, right? 2020, yeah. 
this uh, Sandro mm -hmm. with running. It was alright song, but I wouldn't think people would yeah, like it. Yeah, it was it like it. Yeah. Right. But this yeah, year... There is a very good... But this year they I'm are sorry. stepping up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. And I must say, yeah, basically it's a good pop song, we can't deny it. There are some who will criticize it and say, I don't know, it's not original, but I don't care. I mean, it's good, good, strong song. I think they will deliver by staging. Um, and yeah, we saw Elena, she knows how to perform. So yeah, I think it will qualify. And next one is Ukraine. Listen guys, I think it will be the pop of the evening. That's how do you do a party. Yeah, of course, there's the issue of foreign language here and the jury that like to mock folklore songs. But I think that Televote will help it to qualify. I mean, it won't be last in jury, but yeah, I, I think the majority of the support here will came from the Televoting. And UK is a strong country that has never failed to qualify. And to be honest, I don't see it happening this year. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they will qualify this year as well. Um, and listen, guys, it's Ukraine, so... Let's stay tuned with the staging, right? I guess. Really okay. looking forward to see that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like One that's of the most... a, that's an, a, um, a performance that I really don't know what to expect. I know what I have in my vision and I shared it with you before, mm -hmm. but I really want to see what they will come up with in the, in the lives. But yeah, no doubt they will qualify. The song is amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. And I'm happy to see you like that song. Uh, because I know that last year was really a little bit difficult for you. No, no, I really liked last year too. But, um, you know, at the beginning, when you don't know the song, it sounds like a panic attack. <laughs> you know, it started so fast and it took me a little while to get into it, but I love it today. So cool. Next one we all agreed on was Azerbaijan. Uh, yes, do you want to explain about Azerbaijan? What do you think it will qualify? Actually, this time it's just because it's Azerbaijan. I don't really like the song. Uh, I'm sure, you know, that on stage they will do something really, really nice. A lot of production behind of her. But just because it's Azerbaijan it's, and it's a nice rhythm, the song is kind of okay. Um, that's it. That's it. But I have no doubt that Azerbaijan will qualify this year. Mm -hmm. Karen, what about you? I I think it's going to be a standout and the, um, the staging wise as well. Uh, also, it's going to be helpful from televotes with uh, neighboring uh, countries like Russia and others, but they usually will get votes from Ukraine. From, yeah, Ukraine, yeah. So, yeah. It's going to be a big plus for them. So I can see it they're going to qualify. Yeah, I agree. Again, uh, I don't think it will be so uh, easy to qualify, but they eventually, they, I guess they will. Um, I don't know about staging. Don't ask me why, but I just imagine something like between Azerbaijan 22nd and Cyprus 2018. Something between them, I guess, will be the final production here. Uh, but yeah, it can fit the song, so why not? And guys, we have our last agreement, our last mutual qualify, which is Romania. I think it can be Dark Horse, actually. Uh, Roxanne really improved vocally, I guess. Again, that's what I'm thinking. Um, the song is impactful. I suspect they will give us amazing staging. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that is a ballad, but there is no such ballad in that semi-final. There are ballads, but they're different from Romania. Will definitely stand out, I think. I actually put Romania in for the qualifiers just because of those footages of the staging. So if it's true that there will be chairs hanging from the, um, from the walls, right? Yeah, we're not sure yet. Again, it's can be a yeah, rumor. It's a rumor. So far, it's a rumor. Then it's a great one that it, they fooled me. So, if yes, that will be something really unique, and no doubt it will be something rememberable enough to qualify. Uh, but without it, I don't know because I don't think this song is that special. Mm -hmm. I really like Roxanne as a singer, right? I think she's amazing. Um, <laughs> But judging by the song itself, I'm not sure she will qualify, but if the staging will be as predicted, 
that we, we remember well enough to qualify. Excellent. And now each one of us will be able to talk on his additional two qualifiers. Uh, it can be a situation, guys, that two of us agree on a specific country, but not the three of us. So we'll do it that way. Um, yes, let's start with Karens. Karens, tell us who is your first qualifier that wasn't in the mutual list. I will start talking about Norway. Um, yeah, um, I think Norway will do well. Uh, it's like a Sweden and a lot of people like the song and I think um, when I showed my parents the first, first time the Norway, they didn't know the song and didn't know the history and they actually really liked it. So I believe the first time watchers will like it too and will give a vote for it. Okay, so we talked about Norway. Yeah, your second uh, qualifier. My we haven't mentioned. My second qualifier is Ireland actually. It can be a surprise qualifier, in my opinion. Um, I was struggling between Israel and Ireland, but I picked Ireland because, uh, I, yeah, I believe she will do well. Uh, staging going to be great, but even Ireland or Israel will... It's, I'm already struggling which to pick better Israel or Ireland, but I picked Ireland uh, because I hope the stakes will be do well and people like it. And a lot of um, elderly females like 30s like the song, what I heard and read about. So yeah, I can see they will vote for Ireland. But yeah, it can surprise us. So, Nir, let's move on to you. Who are your uh, two qualifiers we haven't mentioned uh, as the mutual list? Okay, so my two is, the first one is Norway. And I talked a lot about Norway when, once we did the reaction. I think there is something so special in that song. And, you know, the, the, the more that I'm listening to the song and the more we are getting more and more information from NRK, now with the new music video being released and the story behind Tiggs, you know, dealing with uh, Tourette syndrome, and we're getting bullying. more and more and more layers and, and, and approvals why this song is so unique and special. And actually we understand now even better why he won the, the, the um, MGP. Mm -hmm. And why, of course, for me, no doubt, he will qualify. And we'll be ranking, actually, to my prediction, pretty good in the final two. Um, there is something magical in his show. It's not just a song and a melody and the staging. It's everything together. It comes with a story. It's come with a great message. A message, by the way, that we've never had before. And that's the acceptance of the of the other, someone that is different. And I think it's amazing. Mm. Adding to that, a great song, great vocals, um, a nice character. Everything shoots together so perfectly that yeah, no way is in, uh, in my qualifiers. And my second one, is Israel. If you would ask me before the revamp, of course, Israel wasn't there. After the revamp, it's a different story. We got actually like a new song. I think the whistling part at the end will show a different side of Eden that nobody saw before. And once people saw her doing that whistling live on stage so perfectly, they would be left with their jaws drop to the floor. She will nail it for sure. I know they, you know, preparing a really, really, really nice show for us with dancers and it's gonna be like a big party as Israel uh, know how to do. And yeah, in my belief Israel will, will qualify. And I'm so, so happy because this is how you revamp a song and this is how you learn 
from the audience what you need to do better in order to um to just to get better right in the beginning israel wasn't so popular and they like study and investigate what they need to do and they just nailed it that's it right and uh, now moving on to me i guess so i have two qualifiers uh, that weren't on our usual list the first one is actually israel as well like near so you basically has mentioned all but i will tell it shortly yeah a good song I started, I like it even when it just was the demo, but now it's much, much better. The revamp is one of the most successful revamp of, I think you're revisioning really history, not only this year. And uh, just took an average song and made it excellent. Uh, Eden vocally can serve really well. About staging, I know there is a plan about five or four dancers, male dancers. Um, I can't imagine it. I'm not sure it will be impactful enough, but I guess that the strong will the song will be, I mean, good enough in order to qualify. I think it will be hard to qualify. I mean, it not, won't be top five or top six of the evening, unfortunately. But yeah, it can definitely has a chance. I mean, not sure, but has a chance to qualify. Um the whistles in the end, if they will be done properly, which I strongly believe, yes then at least the jury will appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I think that there, there are some chances that Israel will qualify this year. Um, but again, I must say that my prediction here of the 10 countries was so difficult. I've never struggled to predict a semifinal in Eurovision until now. I mean, this time it's the hardest one. And for my second choice, which will be quite surprising, I guess, but you know, I'm going to put Slovenia. It's New easier life. to see. Yeah, Anna Soklic. Anna Soklic. Listen, guys, this is how you pronounce the queen, okay? Just open your dictionary and you see Anna Soklic there. The, vo the voice, amazing. No voice like that in Eurovision this year. She knows how to do the low notes, the high notes. She has, when she looks into your eyes, you just, I don't know, I, I get convinced immediately. Uh, I believe the song will get much more appreciation from the juries. But, you know, we saw some cases like this before, right? For example, Albania with Eugene Buspepa, who wasn't in top 10 of Televote, but was in top 10 of jury and qualified. So, yeah, it definitely can happen. Maybe she will have Tamara Todevska moment. I mean, I'm not sure she will, will win the jury voting, of course. But I mean, with a gap between the jury and the televoting. And yeah, no, the, the running order isn't in her favor. But I believe that because this is a unique ballad between all those upbeat songs in that semifinal, it really can shine. And you know, the real source are about to start in a few days. And I'm sure she will be rise up in the betting goals as well. It didn't happen until now, but trust me, it can happen. And now let's just quickly review the countries we haven't talked about. I want to start with Belgium, please. Listen, a confession. Belgium is my top 10 for me again. Um, but I'm a little bit worried about staging because Belgium didn't tend to do well with staging in last year's. Um, I have no idea what they plan this year, but I think that the song has potential of, of uh, staging, right? It's cinematic, mysterious, dark. So they can do things. Again, I'm not sure, but if you ask me, I will be happy, really happy to see Belgium in, in that uh, qualifiers list. And um, right now, I think it will almost enter there, but I don't know. If you just ask me quickly, give up, give is your give your top 10 prediction. Unfortunately, it's almost there, but not there. Another one, Australia. Um, the song is amazing. I think it's the most unique song. I mean, very brave one, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, guys, I'm concerned because I think that the fact that Montaigne won't be in Rotterdam, no but perform remotely, I think it can reduce the chances, at least of televoting. And the song to start with was, I think it's not favorite by the voters because it's divisive. Montaigne voice, I like it, but there are some people who don't like it. And, you know, the song is quite, let's say, um, composed of different parts. So some people can, I don't know, suffer of it. So I believe it won't qualify, unfortunately, again, because Australia is 
as well in my top 10 list, but I hardly believe it qualified. Another one, guys, North Macedonia. Um, yeah, anyone want to talk about it? I will. Um, Go ahead. I was struggling uh, if I want to, if North Macedonia will be uh, one of the qualifiers, even though some people don't like it, juries will do. Uh, they'll give a point, but uh, I'm not sure to tell about Juries will save it, as I mentioned already, like before in review. Juries will save it, but I'm, yeah, uh, I will be surprised if North Macedonia will qualify. I will be surprised. But, you know, you never know. Same here. Vasil is amazing. He has wonderful voice, but I don't believe the song will shine out. It's a Disney ballad, but. I don't know, I have difficulty to see enough people vote for this. Mm -hmm. It will get some support from the jury, but I don't know, it, it even can be that dangerous to end in the bottom of that semifinal, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I don't see any chances. And the last one we haven't talked, it's actually a surprising one, Croatia, because betting cards really like it, I guess. But if I can explain, I think there are two main reasons we haven't mentioned it. First of all, just want to say we don't hate any song this year. So if you are from any specific country, don't get offended. Really, this is really strong year, and so it's just opinions, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody in the comments don't get offended. But about Croatia, um, I think that the fact she's in semifinal one with more female singers that performs upbeat songs can be not a good sign here. Yeah, we have Israel that performs two songs later. And I think Eden is a good vocalist, so she definitely can steal some attention. And I don't know, um, Azerbaijan again, another upbeat song, Ukraine. And that's my thing. I, I think it will end in 11th or 12th uh, place. I think that we'll get uh, some support. I mean, no, not a few points, but a decent result from the televoting, but I'm not sure jury will help her. Any other opinions about that semi-final predictions, opinions? It's a tough one. It's a really, really Very tough, tough one. I think, uh, speaking of Croatia, if Croatia was in semi-final too, she will also struggle because there's also loads of female pops, pop songs. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think in fact, she's borderline. I mean, she, there, there are chances she will qualify. Yeah. I won't be there surprised. Are, I won't be yeah, surprised. Yeah, I won't surprise either. But just when I organized my top 10 list, uh, I don't know, it just wasn't there. I'm sorry. Okay, so those were our predictions for semifinal one. Again, as near and Karen has said, I must repeat a, a very tough one. So I think that almost every scenario here is possible. Um, let's wish good luck to all the contestants in semifinal one. And guys, don't forget to like our video, subscribe, and meet us on ecb.com. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Open up, write it down to the place in your heart where you.